you pretend like you're walking around with the camera and you know you you know it's doing everywhere and like you choose a spot and then you choose 10 seconds later that spot and then it'll slowly pan over to there what but it's sort of automatic but you got to pick each spot so you got to like look around and see what's interesting and it's both what's useful about it is that you can see everywhere so you have to so you can choose everywhere but it also means that you know it loses any spontaneity or whatever but it also means that it takes like you know when you're walking up you get one chance AI can do a pretty good job of identifying objects and helping you find probably be a lot of data this is uh, the 2018 or 17 version of the, the more modern ones probably. A costs, you know, 2,000 bucks and B have some of that. Well, this, that would be, man, that would be software. I know, but this software suite that goes with it is the, I mean, this piece of, you know, electronics, I mean, there's, there's the $30 GoPro knockoffs or whatever, which it's all about. But they give you terrible colors because the, the software running them doesn't, you know, it's not like the lenses or whatever that's the difference. So when you, uh, what do you edit the video? I like to do it on the computer, but the... The computer app is much more sketchy, so I can only get it onto the phone. It work. like, works better on the phone, but you can't see what you're doing, so it's yeah. just... You need a phone or the big one. I need a tablet, actually. I started, I loaded the thing onto Audrey's iPad, but I haven't tried it yet. Which also, I think that the, the Apple app works better than the Android app because I think they work harder on it because there's more demand for it. Mm -hmm. They've completely given up on the Windows one. What is that? That didn't look like a doll or anything. It sort of looked like a pocket. go when you went kayaking. So we started, remember that boat ramp? The one where the guy was asking us to help or the, or yeah. the, the where the guy asked us to help, yeah. yeah. That's where we went. And then we went out and turned right and there's a creek that goes all the way up to the And there's a bunch of other You could go on that side. Uh-huh. When you, when you look at the map, it just, yeah. Like, we just, if you stay in the creek, it's pretty much. And then you could go the other direction, you could go to the sound, but this, that's what I was going to do, but people had just finished back. So, oh, the right's better, they're just coming for it. Mm -hmm. So, do you know where the covered bridge is no. on a bike? No. Although, it's on something called Covered Bridge Road. <laughs> it's on, so we're on Woods Road, which is... I don't know the names of any of them. So the last road we want to... The one that we're, takes you back to the highway? Yeah. It's off of that road, so one of those left turns towards the sound. Uh -huh. 